Acorn squash is just like the other varieties of winter squash we've seen in the Meet the Food series. And that means take your time when cutting into it as you'll likely need some leverage using your body weight to cut through. With an acorn squash, cut off an end for more stability. And don't forget the seeds are edible too, raw or cooked. I like to bake my seeds with a little seasoning and so it just makes sense to toss them onto the same pan with the squash as it bakes. After baking your squash, you can add it to a number of recipes. And now that we've finished the hard part and gotten inside the acorn squash, let's learn a little bit more about it. The acorn squash is a winter squash and this means that the outer skin or rind becomes thicker and more durable as it matures. Typically with winter squash, we don't eat the skin and we cook it before eating. Just like a pumpkin, the inside is full of seeds that we can scrape out, bake, and eat, or eat raw. Acorn squash grow on vines just like a pumpkin, and they are likely found lying on the ground. Let's take a look at what a one cup serving of acorn squash provides us. Acorn squash are a good source of fiber and vitamin C, and just like the butternut squash and the spaghetti squash, it also provides a good source of a few B vitamins. You may be noticing that fiber is often provided by these fruits and veggies, and this is just one of the reasons why eating both can be very beneficial. Fiber does a number of things for our body depending on the type. Soluble fiber dissolves in water, and this means it slows our digestion, allowing nutrients to be absorbed. It also helps push food through our intestines. Insoluble fiber can't be digested, so it scrubs our insides as it works its way through. This keeps bits of foods from getting stuck in any nooks and crannies, and it also keeps our good bacteria happy and healthy since insoluble fiber is basically their favorite food. Vitamin C is important for so many reasons. It's an antioxidant which helps protect our cells from damage by free radicals. Free radicals end up in our bodies from air pollutants, industrial chemicals, smoking, all sorts of things. Vitamin C also helps our wounds heal by helping the body make collagen, a fiber-like protein that connects tissue in bone, skin, muscles, tendons, and cartilage. And vitamin C helps us absorb iron from plant-based sources. In general, B vitamins are needed to turn the foods we eat into usable energy. Thiamine specifically helps our body cells change carbs into energy, and pyridoxine helps release stored glucose from the liver and muscles. And that about does it. If you liked meeting this food, check out the others in this series and let me know what other foods you might like to meet. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.